Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pete. I'm going to try this video again. I uh, tried to upload this one earlier today and for some reason it didn't work. I don't know why. Anyway, I am getting close to uh, done for the day and I thought I'd have a little sushi. I am so looking forward to that. Oh, that's some king salmon and some warm sake. That is going to be good. Woohoo! So I uh, <clears throat> made a little mistake today and it turned out to be... Uh, a little innovation that I'm, I'm kind of pleased with. It was a um, good opportunity to uh, figure out a new way of doing something. And what that is, is um, <clears throat> I made this uh, post for the railings that I'm building. And on all the spindles and all the other pieces, the ends are straight. But on this one, um, over there, there's some pieces that I'm using for caps. And they're cut at a 45 and they fit into the top so it's nice and flush and it's going to hide some bolts that are going to bolt it all together. But when I cut it this morning, I cut it <laughs> and I forgot to cut it on this edge so that the cap will fit in. And I was like, oh man, I'd already glued it up and clamped it and I was thinking I might have to do it over, but I figured I'd try something before I scrapped it and it worked out. And what I did was on the table saw, I just put the post there right up to where the blade is and put a cinder block on top. And then as the blade was spinning, I just positioned it so I knew the blade, see how it's rising up? It was gonna rise up right where I wanted it. And I, I knew I wouldn't be able to get all the way through to the, the ends, but that's okay, I got real close, like right to there. And with the dovetail saw, I just finished it off. It was real easy. So if I ever have that problem again, I'm gonna know how to fix it. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm gonna have myself a little sake and some sushi. Cheers, hope everyone's well. Take care, bye.